I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. The battle belongs to you, Lord. Hey everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. Our song today is See a Victory. And I just love the uh, the message of this song. God, the power and being able to to know the outcome, you know, such a beautiful thing. The confidence we can have, the way we can we can live our lives in the tough times, and um, it's just a beautiful gift. So, God, we just praise you for that. We pray for the student wherever they are in the world. All right, guys, key of B flat. So I'll be doing a uh, piano version of the song, but also show some of the things that you hear on the recording, like in the uh, bridge instrumental part, and uh, we'll do a intro part. I know the guitar is playing. We'll do. We'll play it on the piano. So maybe if you're leading, just piano. You and a you and a microphone that we can do that. Get those cheat sheets uh, and look over the chords for the key of B flat. That is in the description. And uh, this song is by vote. So if you want to vote, also be part of that email list uh, and look down there in the description for that. So this little intro part here, the electric guitar is playing it. So I'm going to show you what I would do on piano if I was just going to lead myself. And if you want to copy and paste the uh, lyrics uh, and chords down below as well, you can do that. And then you can format it, make it look good, have a little sheet to play along with. So just the single notes are C, D, G, B flat, F. All right. So I'm going to put them with some other notes here in a second. But if you want to play them by themselves, you can do that. So the count would be one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and three, four. One, two, two, two three. I meant, I meant three, four there on that. Uh, so let me sing that one more time just so you can see that timing. In fact, I'll just play a little timing here. And you can practice with that. One, two. One, two. Now, if you want to add uh, some more stuff to it, make it sound kind of fuller, I would do something like this. All right. So all I'm doing is holding down the F here. Da, da, and then we'll jump down here. B flat and a G. Then B flat and E flat. And then we'll end on this F. And I might even add like a full chord in there. B flat, C, D, F. So that'll give you one, two. In the left hand, we're just doing uh, whatever the bass notes are. So I, I end up playing. So just G's here. land on an E flat and B flat and then an B flat and F for the B flat part. Um, notice how they land in different times. It's because of the uh, the syncopation of it. One, two, oh, sorry, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two. So just let the bass land after those two, and uh, you'll be doing fine with that. All right, so that gives you something to work on. Remember, in these videos, to pause it, work out those parts. I don't expect you to learn it right in real time as I'm doing it. That's the beauty of videos. You can stop it, work on it, all that good stuff. All right, so now we need to look at some chords, the main chords we'll be using for the song, and then we'll be singing and playing this thing before you know it. It's exciting. So first of all, a G 
minor, and you'll see all of these uh, these this stuff in the cheat sheets. G, B flat, and a D. First time watching this, um, you might be wondering why why aren't you just playing G B flat D, G minor like this? Well, because I want to keep all the chords kind of in one spot, so I'm going to invert it. All that means is you move a note to the top, boop. Same notes, different order, and we have an inversion. So this is gonna allow us to play all of our chords in this general one spot, and it's gonna sound more professional and better. So that's our G minor. Play some Gs in the bass. What up, G? And then uh, go to, I don't know why I said that. Um, an E flat chord, E flat, G, B flat, E flat's in the bass. Our B flat chord will look like this. B flat, D, F, B and F in the bass. And anytime you want, you could just play octave bass notes, the same B flat, B flat. I know I'm off screen, but it's just a B flat. Um, especially if the song's, you know, uh, getting loud and kind of adds that, that strength to it. Now, if you're playing with the band, you might want to consider trying to play close up to this hand with the left hand or not even playing the left hand at all because you have what's called a bass player all right. and you don't want to uh, mess up kind of what's going on with, with what he's playing. All right, so we got to our B flat chord, B flat D F, B flat and F in the bass. Um, those are the main three in the um, verse part. So let's just get those down first and then we'll show you the rest as we get into the song. So if you can't, just go G, G minor, E flat, B flat, pause it, and make sure you can go in between those, and then we will be singing and playing. Through this verse, uh, a lot of the chords, or these, this uh, G minor to E flat, it'll change after two beats. So it'll be one, two, to the E flat, one, two, then to the B flat on four beats. Two, three, four. G minor, E flat, B flat, two, three, four. Here it is with the words. Two, three, four. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Three, four. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. So the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God will never fail. My God will never fail. I'm going to see. All right. One thing to keep in mind, if you're trying to play and sing this and you haven't done much of that, this song may not be the best to start with because there's a lot of syncopation in the lyrics. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. It's like all on the upbeats and weird places. So to, to keep a steady beat and sing that could be very difficult for you, but you can do it, all right? It might take you weeks or a month just kind of working on it every day, but do it. Take it slowly. So work on getting this right hand just going. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. All right. But you just really need to know, be able to sing the lyrics, uh, first of all, uh, without playing, be able to play with someone singing and then start meshing them both together and you'll get it. All right. So let's look at that uh, chorus. I'm going to see. Ya. So same thing, G minor. Victory. I'm gonna see ya. Now this E flat, it says major seven. So all we gotta do to make it a major seven is add in this D here. So take our chord we're already playing, add in this note. Victory for the battle, B flat. Battle belongs to you, Lord. Now, we have an F sus chord. So let me show you the regular F. F, A, C, F's in the bass. To make it a sus, all you do is move this note here. 
So sus play this, regular F chord play this. And that'll be a chord you need for the chorus. So let me sing and play through that. One, two. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Intro. <laughs> and then I hit like double notes together. Um, so then you go into the intro. So that's the chorus part. Um, verse two, let's go ahead and sing. I'll just sing, I'll just go straight through it uh, so we can get to that kind of instrumental part and then into the bridge. So after you play through the, uh, you can call it turnaround, you call it intro, again, whatever you want to do. Um, do, 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 two, three, four. There's power in the mighty name of Jesus. Every war he wages, he will win. I'm not backing down from any giant. I know this, I know how this story ends. Two, three, four. I know how this story begins. I'm gonna see. You might see me add in this note with the B flat chord. Just adds a little depth to it. And you hear people do that in worship all the time. Sweet. Let's look at the instrumental part. And at the end of this, we will play and sing through this together. But the instrumental part is a, a neat little thing. Again, you can do it a, a, as simple as you want to. Uh, or you can um, do go go a little more complicated. How I'm going to show you both. So first the simple. So G G F B flat A A G F B flat G. So let's go slowly. Two, three, four, one. So if you're going to play it, um, you could just do, like it was just piano only. Um, you could do these bass notes, keep in rhythm just like I was doing. Two, three, D. And remember, any slash chord, whatever's after the slash is your bass note. Two, three, G, F, two, three. So bass part again, E flat, two, three, Four F two three D E flat two three G F two three four. So if we were playing now both together, one two, ready and So again, break that up, learn each part, get to where you're comfortable, start putting it together. It might take some time, but that's okay. Now here's a little more complicated way to play it, uh, and it's a little prettier. So G at the top, B flat, and then you'll play F and B flat, then jump up to D and B flat, then C and A, so that's the first measure is two, three, four, one. All right, then the next measure, you'll stay right here. And you'll go A, keeping the C in the bass, these three notes. 
and then jump up to B flat and D and G and B flat. So and then it's just repeating after this to super slow and Uh, so let's now, now I'll play it kind of both hands, um, bass notes, chunking through this thing, two, three, four... I, uh, I messed up because I was thinking about something that I was doing in my left hand. Um, so sometimes I'll hit and then use this thumb as the rhythm. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. If it's something you want to incorporate, uh, you can definitely do that. All right, we got to keep moving because it's like a long way into this video already. Uh, and then we'll play and sing through some of this thing. So that's the instrumental part. Um, if, if you want to work out being able to do that and sing at the same time through the bridge, uh, more power to you. You could do it if you put enough time. Uh, but if not, we'll just play chords. So chords we already know. E flat major seven at the bridge. Two, three, four. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. Beautiful. All right, one last thing, and then we will be uh, done with this. Uh, we'll be singing and playing through this whole song so you can practice. So at the end, they do one more little thing. It's B flat, B flat, A, F, C. Then C, C, B flat, A, G. So here's how it'll sound in time. Two, three, four. All right, I know that was a lot. This isn't the easiest song. Um, so, just take your time, work through it. You can it just, you know, if you can put the time in, uh, these things will come together. So let's sing and uh, pray through this together. From the intro. I'll count you off. One, two. One, two. Weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Three. When the darkness falls, it won't breathe. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God will never fail. My God. And my God will never. I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord Intro
verse 2. There's power in the mighty name of Jesus. Every war he wages, he will win. I'm not backing down from any giant. I know how this story ends. I know, I know how this story ends. Gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Just got an instrumental. Three, four. Do it again. guys thank y'all hope you enjoyed the lesson uh if you want to vote on whatever song i do next make sure you're part of the email list go below and look in the description it'll say email list or cheat sheets you also get some cheat sheets along with it so hey lucky you uh god bless y'all wade mcnutt here pianomeditation.com